Hi everybody! If you hate creating sections in Revit manually, then I got really good news for you. Because I've just released a new tool, Element Sections Generator. And it's part of my EF Tools extension, which is absolutely free and even open source. So you can even see the code behind it. And it works really great. All you have to do is first activate the tool, then you need to choose the categories which you want to select. Then you select the elements of these categories, and optionally, you can select one of the view templates. And this will create an elevation, cross section, and plan of all the elements that you selected. It's also going to take all these sections and put it on the sheet to have all of them on the separate sheet for each element. And it can be really beneficial for you to quickly inspect different elements and even create plans that you want to export to your consultants. Now, let's go to Revit where I can quickly show you how it works. In here, I prepared a bunch of different elements. And now, let's say I want to create sections for them to inspect them. I'm going to go to my EF tools, then here in the views panel, you will notice sections generator. And in there, there is going to be element sections generator tool. Click on that one. As I said, first, we need to select a category. You can select all loadable families, walls, windows, maybe you want to select everything. Then click on select, and then it will prompt you to pick your element. I'm just going to select everything like this. I'm going to exclude this wall, for example. And right now, I'm happy with my selection. I have to click right here on the finish. And lastly, it will ask you, would you like to select a view template for your sections? In my case, I don't want to select this so I can close it. Then you will see this progress bar on the top for each of your elements. And once it's complete, you're going to get this reporting card, which is really, really good. First of all, let's have a look at your elements. And you'll notice that all of them have an elevation, cross section and plan view. And all of these views were also placed on the sheet. And this reporting card can help us identify all these views, sheets and even elements. You can see the first two columns are category and type name just for you to easier find the elements. And then in here, you can click on this one to actually select your element, or even you can use the magnifying glass so you can zoom on the plan where this element is located. This can already be really beneficial for you to kind of distinguish between these elements. Then the most important part is we have created an elevation, cross section, and floor plan for all of these views. And all of them were placed on the sheet where you can find them right here, for example. Listen, the tool is still in open beta, so it's not going to always perfectly place it in the right places. Right now, I just defined three points on the title block and it's always going to drop them there. But you can easily move it around, just align it how you want, change the scale, change the view template, anything you want to do. It's really, really powerful to create a lot of sections really, really quick. And now, if I'm going to scroll through, you can see that you always have these three views nearby and it already is supposed to really help you in your workflows because this is going to be by far much quicker if you would decide to do it manually. And also, you don't even need to be in a floor plan. Let's say that you are in 3D view of your project and you decide to create some sections for certain elements so you can inspect them better or even export for somebody else. You would just activate this tool, same as before, you select the categories, and now you can pick a few elements. Let's say I want to have a look at that one, maybe this logo, this wall, Now let's look at this element right here. Now let's choose something on the back. I want to take this window, and I'm even going to grab the elevator shaft. Now, I'm going to click on finish. Same as before, would you like to select any view template? I'm going to close this. And you will see the progress bar on the top for each of your elements. And once it's complete, you're going to get this reporting card with all these linkable elements. Let's just put it here on the top. As I showed you before, this magnifying glass will help you identify these elements in 3D space. And then you can easily go to the sheets where they are located. And this tool already should save you a lot of time and improve your workflows. I know creating sections is not complicated, but it takes time to find the element in the floor plan, draw it, and then you have to adjust the height and bottom of the section as well, which can be really annoying, right? This will create all the sections, drop it on the sheet, and it's ready to use however you like. And also keep in mind that the tool is sort of in an open beta. It means that it's not completely finished, and if there is something that you see is missing or maybe you get some errors, just let me know and I will try to fix it. And if you want to take this tool to the next level, then you definitely want to see this video. Because in there, I will show you how to automate your section creation for hundreds of windows. It's going to create elevation, cross section and plan for your windows. And you will also see how to place them on the sheets. This is really powerful workflow, so make sure that you look at it. And I want to say a huge thanks to my supporters. And as always, happy coding guys. Goodbye.